everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. And now for something completely different. I wonder, I wonder what I might be talking about out here in the wild. I mean, would it be something to do with wildlife perhaps? Would it be something to do with action and, and, and trees? Well, I've got a very exciting thing to show you just to right about now. And here it is, here it is. There it is, look at that, oh. What is in this box? Can you guess? Do you know? I'm so excited. Now, I have resisted opening this box. I have not looked. Yes, indeed, this is the 400. <laughs> the 400 2.8 VRS. Oh, I'm glad they brought this. This is, uh, this is obviously a, a thing for the aeroplane. We can have a bit of a sleep. That's nice, that's good. That's positive, thank you for that. So today's episode is, this is really just a quick unboxing, a first look. Up we here is that lovely yellow box. This reminds me of the bag that my 200 to 400 F4 comes in. There's a strap in there. Got a strap for it, all right. Here it is. First time I've ever seen it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna face the camera. Here we go. All right, there it is. Oh my God. I'm not even seeing it, but there it is. I feel very nervous because this is like a 20 plus thousand dollar lens in this country. It's this or a small car, you know what I'm saying? So I, I really, I really wanna look after it. Okay. Lovely padded container. Now it's not super heavy. It is covered in plastic. Let's very carefully Take all of this off. That's interesting. One thing's tucked into another thing. This is quite a puzzle. <laughs> quite come on, come on. Uh, it was air with a ball. That comes out. And then, oh, I see. Okay, all right. Now it's making sense. Of course, it's screwed on. Wow. Well, look at that. And it actually comes with a lens cap that's not a cap. It's like a. It's. It's a thing. I've never seen anything like that before. Have you? Where it's on with Velcro? That's super cool. Look at that. Huh? Well, here it is. Holy, holy cow. Got to get the last of that uh, bubble wrap off. Now it's it oh, it it. it. oh, it. it's, it's a little bit tricky. There we go. Oh. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. That front element. What is that? It must be close to 15 centimeters. Absolutely huge. It is the Z 400 2.8 TC VR S. There are a number of things that are super exciting about this lens. And one of them is the fact that it has a built in teleconverter. This is it right here. There it is right there. And at the flick of a switch. Ah, oh, there's a lock. Very good. Can't do it accidentally. Flick of a switch. Wow, there it goes. You can hear it. Listen. And that is a bunch of glass moving around in there. Wow. It's as simple as that. Isn't that amazing? A built-in teleconverter. Maybe they want you to hold on to it when you're doing that. I'm not sure. Amazing. Built-in teleconverter and we have all of these, check it out, all of these memory positions. Where previous lenses might have a lot of switches here on the side here with the switching gear, we've only got two on this one which is changing from autofocus to manual focus and uh, we're getting the full range of the focusing system and in the case of this one we stop at six meters would be the minimum. I love it. I think, look, I think this is a beautiful lens. It really does look gorgeous considering the power of this lens. 400 mils, built in 1.4 teleconverter, taking us out to 560 real. This is real mils. This is not a crop. This is not a DX or an APS-C. This is not a 35 mil equivalent. This is both a 400 mil and 
a 560 mil in the one lens. Now the 1.4 does lose us a stop of light. So we do go from 2.8 to f4, but that still makes this an extraordinary lens. And then if you think about the fact that you can put a 1.5 crop, still get around 20 megapixels on your Z7, your Z7 II or your Z9. And where are you at? 1.5, 1 1.2, that's 280. Uh, uh, you're up over 800, 800 and something. That is a lot from one lens. And as I've talked about in a few videos, let's be very clear what's going on here. With the Z9, you can obviously shoot in full frame, but when you choose the specific setting of 4K, 120 frames per second, and then you crop to DX, they don't give you DX, they don't give you the 1.5 times crop, they give you a 2.3 times crop, which makes this lens, if you throw the teleconverter, up over 1200 mils. So this is a lot of lens in one lens. The build quality of this thing is absolutely outstanding. And obviously it's built to the highest standards. Of course, we have a metallic mount ring. So let's not forget also there is the potential to throw a filter in here at the back. And there it is. An amazing lens. I love, I absolutely love the industrial design of this lens. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not heavy. It's not unmanageable. There's a lot to love about it. We've got this huge tripod foot. You've got your own mounting points for straps. I love, this is something that I, I've noticed with the Z lenses that they try and make them balance when they're this type of lens. So it's just sitting there balancing by itself, which means it'll be quite nicely balanced with a Z6 or a Z9 on the back. I can feel that it wants, to, it wants to go this way, but it's still managing to sit like this, which is absolutely great. Just keeps lenses safer. Okay, so we have actually three rings on this prime lens. Obviously we've got focus here. That's, that's pretty clear to me that that's the focus ring. It's big, it's easy to grab onto. Then we have the normal sort of ring that we've seen on all of these lenses which can be programmed to be like an aperture, ISO, or whatever. We were shooting on the Z9 in 8K, but now we've got the Z9 here, and I just want to show you how amazingly well balanced Nikon has made this. It is perfectly balanced with the Z9 on the back of it, and that is just pivoting there gorgeously. So, for the first time ever, let's just see what this autofocus is all about. So, let me, shooting at a little camera there. Uh, there we go, wow, okay. Very fast, I'm in silent mode. Let's, let's go off silent mode. Actually, no, I'm not in silent mode. I'm just in the very quiet shutter mode and it is very quiet. The, st the VR is crazy. Very good. It's extraordinarily fast. We've got some birds. Let's see if we can see a bird or a tree. The focus is extraordinarily fast. Now let's just flick it over to, I want to watch that as it flicks over. Oh, there it is. Wow. Yeah, geez. That's just instantaneous and absolutely seamless. And you get your little jump. Oh, it's so nice. Oh gosh, that just grabbed the fence down there without even thinking about it. Let me go over here, tree a long way away. Wow, very fast. This feels extraordinary. I've got my old 200 to 400 and this is a completely different class. We're gonna get out there, we're gonna test it. We're gonna find some moving objects, some fast moving, perhaps wind surfers and kite surfers, some fast moving birds and Maybe some fast moving people as well. I am very excited for Nikon. Look, I'm probably more excited for Nikon than I am for anything else. This is a glorious piece of kit matched with the Z9. These two things are arriving at the right time. They're arriving together. 
And if you're into birding, wildlife, sports, photojournalism, so many use cases, the flexibility of this lens for all of those different use cases that we've just talked about, going from 400 mil full frame out to 860, when you've got the teleconverter on and when you go to DX slash APS-C, all in one top of the range class leading product. Wow. This here is prime time. I'm excited about this lens. It's got new focusing technology. It's got all sorts of cool coatings. What are you doing there, Nikon? It's very cool. There's so much about this lens that's very cool. And next, in the next video, we will be taking it for a spin. All right, everybody, it has been absolutely spectacular to see you. I do hope that you were super well. And if this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like. And uh, well, let's take this thing into the wild.